welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. We are so close to 1 million, less than 50,000 away. It just blows my mind. But today we are doing a video about weight loss and teenagers. I like to do these at least once a year and I've done so many now, which I will link them down below as well as my fitness playlist. I'm gonna share with you tips and tricks on how to just get fit and healthy. This can obviously apply to not just teenagers. It can really apply during any age, but I'm always curious when it comes to these videos. Comment down below how old you are when watching this. And with that being said, let's just jump right into the tips and tricks. The first tip I have, which is more important than I feel like we think, is to try and go to bed and wake up at the same time. Getting yourself on a sleep schedule. Teenagers should get anywhere between 8 to 10 hours and getting adequate quality of sleep is an important part of a healthy weight loss plan. Losing sleep can reduce the amount of weight loss and also encourage overeating. People are most likely sleepiest at two points of the day, one being between 1 to 3 p.m. and the other being between 2 to 4 a.m. The better quality sleep you get, the less likely you are to experience daytime sleepiness. If you find yourself sleeping way too late at night start by just trying to go to bed half an hour earlier an hour earlier and keep doing that until you are on a good sleep schedule My second tip is to add more protein into your diet. Protein is the single most important nutrient for weight loss. A high protein intake boosts metabolism, reduces appetite, and changes several weight regulating hormones. I'm gonna share with you things I like to add into my diet in order to boost my protein intake. And of course, I needed to start first with Built Bars. I've mentioned them in so many videos now, and they are seriously by far my favorite go-to snack. Most of the bars have between 17 to 18 grams of protein. They are low in sugar, and and also low in calories so they're just a great go-to snack and on top of it they taste delicious they are a protein bar and unlike a lot of protein bars they really don't give you that protein aftertaste they are made of hundred percent real chocolate they come in a variety of different flavors all the way from cookies and cream mint brownie lemon cheesecake peanut butter chocolate you name it they have something for everyone and you can either get mixed boxes or you can go ahead and just buy a box with this singular flavor that you love it is guilt-free I do have a discount code, so if you guys use my link in the description box, it will automatically give you 10% off of your order once you go ahead and check out. So I totally recommend picking these up for a healthy snack, and it's a great way to add that extra protein into your diet. Food options that are a great source of protein include beans, chickpeas, eggs, Greek yogurt, peanut butter, or any sort of nut butter, hummus, almonds, and different types of nuts. And of course, some ground turkey and even lean meats, fish, seafood are also all great sources of protein. The next tip I have is to always have food options packed and ready to go. Of course, if you're out of your house and you're going to school, I've always packed a lunch. I never really buy food out. Those foods are usually just full of fat and sugar and it's just really unhealthy. Always having a packed lunch is such a great step. And on top of it, it's always great to have stuff in the fridge and ready to go for you so that when you are really hungry, you have those healthy options right available for you and you don't really have an excuse. I find when there's nothing there, the quickest things that are usually there to make are the unhealthy things that are pre-packaged and processed foods. It's a lot healthier when you do have healthy options already made. When you do need to eat and you're really hungry, you can just take it out of the fridge, warm it up, and you're good to go. I'm gonna share with you a quick, easy option that I like to make every single week just to have extra in the fridge, and that is my go-to quinoa salad. So all you do is take a couple cups of quinoa, and I just rinse it through before I go ahead and put it into the pot but once I did rinse it through I just put three cups of water and one cup of chicken broth I usually put half two cups of the chicken broth but unfortunately I was really low I like to add half water half chicken broth when cooking my quinoa just because I find it's a lot more flavorful than when you just cook your quinoa fully with water but for this quinoa salad, you can really add anything you want in it. This is a great way to also get your veggies in your diet, but it tastes so delicious. So I will cut up peppers, tomatoes, onions, cucumbers. I'll even add chickpeas sometimes. 
it's really up to you and the more veggies the better and then once I have all of my veggies cut up and ready to go it is time for the dressing for the salad so you can even use this dressing for normal salads and it tastes so delicious but it's so good for you so I totally recommend trying this salad dressing out all you're going to need for the dressing is six tablespoons of hummus just use the original plain hummus then put two tablespoons of balsamic vinaigrette two tablespoons of lemon juice then i just put two teaspoons of minced garlic and then blended it all up and that is your dressing and like i said i use this for my quinoa salads i use this for pasta salad i even use this for just normal salad in my spinach and my romaine lettuce you name it it tastes so delicious i'll put all the ingredients in separate containers and throw it into the fridge to let it chill overnight and then the next day typically i will go ahead and just take my quinoa out and put all of my veggies and everything into it. I threw in my peppers, my tomatoes, my onions, my cucumbers, and I even put feta cheese. And to finish it off, of course, I put my dressing I made all over and mixed it up all evenly. And this is just a really great snack. It's great to have for dinner. It's great to even bring for lunch. And it's just super easy to make. And it's just my go-to to have prepped and always in my fridge every single week. My next tip is to make more smoothies. So I have a whole video on smoothies, which I'll link it down below, and also a link down below my what I eat in a day. Smoothies are a great way to get your veggie intake in and your greens in, as well as even fruit, especially if you're not much of a greens or a veggie type of person. It's perfect to make smoothies because they taste delicious and you can't even taste those things such as spinach that you may add into your smoothies. So you, it's healthy for you, but it's delicious at the same time. My next tip is to do hit exercises. So I feel like when I first started getting into exercising when I was a teenager, I thought that the best thing you could do to get fit and lose weight was just to run on the treadmill and just do cardio. Honestly, hit exercises are the most effective exercises. They are extremely effective for weight loss. HIIT exercises are high intensity interval training. It forces your body to use energy from fat as opposed to carbs, which in turn makes losing fat more efficiently and it burns a lot more calories in a short time. It brings your cardio workout to the next level. You'll work up a sweat working at a very intense level and then backing off for a slower recovery period followed by another round of intent, high intensity. This strategy really can help you save time. You don't have to work out as long as you would if you were just keeping a steady pace going on the treadmill or something like that and just doing cardio for like half an hour to an hour. You'll lose the weight, build muscle, and boost your metabolism. Plus there's a post-workout bonus. Your body will burn calories for about two hours after you exercise. As you can see in my video, I'm just doing a couple different HIIT exercises. So I went ahead and just did 30 seconds of jumping jacks. And then I just did some squats. And then I went back into doing the jumping jacks. Some really great HIIT exercises as well. You can even do high knee kicks. You can do running back and forth. I like to jog and then sprint, jog and sprint. Those are really great HIIT exercises. Is also strength training. Strength training is moving your body against some type of resistance, such as either whether it's just your body weight, free weights like dumbbells, resistant bands, resistant machines. It, the benefits of this is it really builds lean muscle mass. And another great form of exercise if you're really looking to tone up and lose weight and just get healthy and fit, it reduces the body fat and also boosts your metabolism. So these are the great forms of exercises if you are looking to lose weight faster. Like I said, when I first went into exercising, I just was on the treadmill all the time. And honestly, I didn't even find the best results when doing that. I found a lot better results when I started adding HIIT exercises into my routine and strength training into my routine. Those you're really going to see a difference in your body and you're going to see your body change when you add that into your fitness routine.
sticking on to exercise, even just adding walking and steps into your routine is going to make such a big difference. Especially when weather's nice, it's always great to get outside and just be in nature and get that vitamin D. It's just important to overall be more active. Even if you go for an hour walk or a 20 minute walk, and add more steps into your day, that is going to make the biggest difference. Try to strive for getting eight to 10,000 steps a day. And I actually like to use the step counter on my phone. We always have our phone on us, so that's a great way to track your steps. And they also have other apps that are like fitness related that they recommend to you. Just using your step counter in your phone makes such a big difference so you can really see how much activity you are getting every single day. That is all for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, I will leave my fitness playlist and all the other videos down below, so definitely go check it out. I will also have my Built Bar discount in the description box. Make sure you guys go check it out and pick some up for yourself. Click the subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. We are getting so, so close to 1 million. We are less than 50,000 away. With that being said, I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!